We are now moving on to the remainder theorem. If a polynomial, that is an algebraic expression of fx, is divided by a linear polynomial, ax minus b, then the remainder is f and then b over a in the place of x. This sentence can look quite daunting, but it's actually a very simple concept. So let us speak about what it means to have a remainder. So the remainder theorem applied is I have fx, some sort of expression, and let's say I divide it by x plus 1. Then the remainder would be f minus 1. So in the place of x, I replace it with a negative 1. Let's work through a more practical example. Find the remainder if fx, which is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 12, is divided by x minus 2. We are not going to divide this. We are simply going to look for the remainder. So I take x minus 2 and I set it equal to 0. Then I solve x. So x is equal to 2. Then I substitute that value of 2, which comes from what I'm dividing by, into the expression given to me. Notice I'm not substituting with negative 2, but with a positive 2, because I set this equal to 0. So in the place of x, I have now positive 2, and I simplify. Therefore, the remainder is negative 6 when I divide this expression by x minus 2. You can also use the remainder theorem to find values of variables in the expression. So the remainder of fx, where fx is equal to negative 3x cubed plus ax squared minus 5x plus 14 is 8, when fx, that expression, is divided by x plus 2. Find or solve the value of a. So we start with the same steps as before. We take this divider and set it equal to 0. Then I solve x, which is negative 2. I substitute the value of negative 2 in the expression of fx. But we are given more information that when this expression is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is 8. So, if I substitute negative 2 into the expression, then the remainder would be 8. This value comes from simplifying the expression. So, negative 3 times negative 8 is plus 24. That becomes 4a plus 10 plus 14. So, 24 plus 10 plus 14 is 48, and the 4a comes from multiplying out negative 2 squared. Now I have a simple linear equation, and I can solve a. So a is equal to negative 10.